guys, um, here was some more maintenance we did on the bus. This is the front hub seal. And when I went to paint the wheels before I got the new tires on, I want to show them that. I saw these were cracked, or this one was cracked. And I didn't even realize that there's a clear window here so that you can see what your fluid level is in your hubs. And if somebody's painted your wheels when they sold you the bus, they might have painted right over top of this like mine was. <laughs> Anyhow, this little, this little cap is removable. I'm not entirely sure why, I guess. But uh, this is the older style, obviously. So now I've got the new one on here, which was not super complicated, but you did have to have a little bit of mechanical skills because you had to scrape off the old gasket carefully and uh, these have to be torqued down. But now you can see the oil level down here and like the old one, these will, this will just pop out too. So that's your ball bearings and races and all that stuff for the front wheel is in there and that's where they go in and adjust it, but it runs wet in this fluid. So I don't understand why that comes off, but it does. But this is where you feel it. So, and the cool thing about this is it's got an O-ring that seals it, but it's also got a magnet in there. So when I took off the old one, the uh, the magnet didn't have anything just a, it didn't have any big chips of metal on it. If it had big chips of metal on it, that'd be an indicator that something was really wearing bad in there. So anyhow, I replaced this and uh, just got to pop this one up with the gear oil. But it doesn't take very much oil. But I already filled it up, but after it set overnight, it ran in where it needed to be, so. So there you go, it's up to the, that's the maximum fill and that's the minimum fill. Oh, if, if like mine, your bus has been painted and the, the wheels had been painted and they spray painted that, I was able to take a Scotch-Brite pad and scrub enough of it off that with the flashlight we could see in it. So, when you look at this one, you can't really tell that it's clear anymore. <laughs> so, I, when the cap is up here, I scrubbed this off. And if I shined the light in it, maybe, maybe we can do it right here. There. If you shine a bright light in it, can you see that? Yeah. So I see that it's, it's like right there. Uh-huh. So that's right up where it's supposed to be. So if, if they've been painted over, maybe you can scrub them off with some scotch bright. A scotch bright pad. Anyhow, what I did was I had to drain that one to replace it. And uh, so then I just drove the bus forward till this was pointed down and put a funnel down there and drained that one out and put clean oil in it too. So, and then also while you weren't watching, <laughs> we changed all the shocks. There's four shocks on the front, two shocks on the rear. Joe and Chris both came out and helped me with that. Um, I wouldn't say that was super hard because I thought you had to jack the bus up to change them, but you don't. They came compressed with these plastic holders on them, and the other ones you could just scoot them by hand to where they went. So, But we did have to take the slitter disc and cut a couple of the bolts that were froze up that we couldn't get loose, so we just chopped them off. So anyhow, thanks to the, my buddies, that job went easy. I actually just found myself laying on the concrete going, Oh, this is a good job for me to watch. <laughs> Anyhow, 
that's so that's some uh, maintenance that was done we're getting so close to being ready to roll and uh, just a few more things and we should be out of here so thanks for watching sorry i didn't get more footage on the shock absorbers but it was i wasn't feeling super good that day and it was a rough job to be under the bus trying to film i nicked my head a couple times so thanks for watching hope you have lots of love in your life and that your bus is road ready too